short video i'm going to show you how you can create a, a kind of map shape size um, uh, and to show some value regarding uh, each city in side chart calculator so uh, if you go to the chart calculator website and on the gallery you will see that there is the example uh, that shows the uh, kind of the polio incident rate over time in us so this is kind of the shape of the uh, usa a map uh, and it's actually for the each uh, city it shows the kind of uh, it shows the, the data regarding that uh, state so i'm going to kind of some kind of get idea from this and i'm creating uh, a map uh, about the uh, planting the actually foresting and planting trees in a uh, different region of the uh, new zealand so from north island Auckland, i get the data from stats and you will see that how it actually uh, works so um i think the challenging part for that scenario was creating the data so i get uh, some parts of the data from the uh, uh, actually the stats of the uh, New Zealand uh, maybe some data changes I couldn't assure that they are the exact so uh, kind of excuse me if there is some missing value or the data maybe changes so uh, that's uh, kind of for the visualization and I use another website to get the latitude and longitude for the each region of the New Zealand so I have latitude and longitude uh, they are not a numeric value they are a uh, categorical value as you can see here okay so what's the how we can do that how we can actually create that chart so you need to go actually to chart calculator launch and i'm going to import the data that i have that in the csv format same as the all before example we have now i'm going to actually to uh, drag and drop the data here so latitude and longitude for the x and y axis and uh, so i can use the rectangle so you can use a rectangle to see that and then convert it to a, a bar chart is possible so if you click in here to change the layout to become a bar chart you can do that and then add a value but i found it is getting very small so the practice that we have in that example in the gallery uh, using that one so is actually drag and drop the bar here and then change the heat size of that and uh, but i use the another approach we have another things that we can do that i use the image so i'm actually instead of the having the uh, kind of the uh, just a bar chart i use the image so now in the if you look at here under the glyph that is for each rows of the data i have icon and i actually use a tree icon for that so that's a tree icon that i have just make sure that the size is okay so i just put the size to be good so 100 or something to make them small so now you can actually see that it's different from city to city so these are the one you can change even you can change it to become a packing to kind of then make it a bit much more nicer so these are the data that we have so uh, i don't need any more the uh, uh, x and y axis i already uh, create my map here and i can add other information so for example the name of the area so i can easily click and something add here just make it here or maybe it's better let me do it by myself so i just put the name here and that's the area name and I don't want to show it for all areas, for the all values. I want to show it for, for example, for a specific year that is not visible. That is not, for example, this is maybe 2017. And I'm going to make it a smaller size. So maybe do something like this and just position it to get a kind of the good position of that. So just make sure that it is kind of showing correctly in a way so 
just make it a bit smaller so that that's a kind of the tricky part through that so you can change it to for example to become a grid so in the grid style i think is much easier to locate the title but uh, when it's coming packing because it can be be anywhere so it's a bit hard so you can change it to just have it as a grid also if you want to show the number you can do that so i will add another one here maybe under or maybe b side or maybe above of that something here so just at the top and i put the value of that again uh, so this time is value so i put the value and the visibility again it just for 2000 17 so you can actually do that and just make sure that you have everything correctly so in the positioning it so just put it a bit up and then yeah just make it smaller so you can just handle it how it works so you see that actually if you have a chart here that it has the uh, kind of the shape of the new zealand and also have value i imported this one to the power bi so that's a chart that i'm already created um it's showing the everything here but uh, i need to work on the scalability so for example when i select on Auckland, uh, i want to see the bigger size not just as the smaller so i need to check it out that how it actually works but you can see here that's actually the interactive chart you can easily for the each uh, area you can see the name and also you can see the actually the uh, name and also the value for each of them uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, many things we can do with uh, chart calculator so uh, the only challenge that i found is about when you're importing to the power bi some scaling doesn't work and how to scale it that i definitely figure it out and i will post in a new video about it uh, very soon thanks so much for watching this video